Um, so, sure. All right, so you're called out to a house uh, with a male containing chest pain. Okay. Be assessed and secure for me and my friend. What's the history of the incident? Um, a male is mowing his lawn and he's not complaining of chest pain. Okay. What's the general impression of my patient? 65 year old male, uh, weighs 200 pounds, sitting on the couch. He's diaphoretic and is in obvious distress. All right, I'm going to call 911. Why are you going to call 911? I'm calling 911 because he's, uh, patient's got chest pain. All right, uh, patient's alert. Do I suspect C-spine? No, you do not. All right, his airway is open. What's his breathing regular and quality? 18 breaths per minute, a regular and a full. Okay. I'm going to use my stethoscope here. I'm going to listen to chest, uh, his uh, lung sounds. Clear, clear, clear. Clear. Okay, clear times four. What's a, is he using any accessory muscles? No. No? All right, what's his SAO2? 95%. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together this uh, oxygen tank. Check everything out. Make sure the oxygen tank is not damaged, that it's a green oxygen tank looking for the um, hydrostatic test date within five years checking the regulator make sure that all the parts are here the flow meter the christmas tree the two high pressure valves the gauge this uh regulator gasket t-screw looking here to make sure that there's two holes here for this they line up the pin indexing system tighten this up i'm gonna get the nala breather mask in here somewhere. There we go. I'm going to connect it and set it at uh, 10 liters per minute. Set it between his legs. Going to close this valve off with my glove finger, inflating this mask back. Place it over his face and ask him to breathe normally. All right. What's his regular quality of his pulse? Checking the radio pulse. 130, uh, regular and ready. Okay, I'm gonna use my <clears throat> stethoscope and a BP cuff to get his blood pressure. 80 over 50. 80 over 50, okay. What's his skin color, temperature, and moisture? Pale, cool, and sweaty. Pale, cool, sweaty. And I'm going to check his capillary refill. Three seconds. Three seconds. All right. Sir, do you know your name? He knows his name. Uh, do you know where you're at? He knows where he's at. Do you know what day of the week it is? Yes, it is. All right. So he's conscious, alert, and oriented times three. All right. So I'm going to do my uh, head to toe. I'm going to check his head for decap BTLS as deformities, contusions, abrasions, penetrations, punctures, burns, tenderness, lacerations, and sweating, swelling. I'm going to check his face for decap BTLS. I'm going to look at his eyes for a pearl. Pupils equal round, react to light uh, and accommodating. I'm going to check his nose, mouth, and ears for any fluids or blood. I'm going to check his neck for decap BTLS. The trachea is midline, no JVD. Check his chest for uh, decap BTLS for equal chest rise and fall. I'm going to check all four quadrants of his abdomen, checking for uh, to make sure it's soft, not tender, times four. Check the pelvis, push down and in to make sure it's intact. Look at his groin for any incontinence, that's urine, feces, or blood. I'm going to check each leg for contralateral movement. I'm going to check each pulse, uh, pedal pulses, make sure he's got good pulses. Ask him to wiggle his toes when he does. He's got good motor. Tickle his bottom of his feet. He says, ha I'm ticklish. Now I'm going to check each arm for contralateral movements and decap ETLS. Check in the pulses, the radio pulses. Ask him to squeeze my hand. Sir, do you feel that? And the last thing I'm going to do is look at the back and decap ETLS. Did I see anything or anything stick out? Okay. So, just going to write in here. It's clear. All right. Uh, signs and symptoms, he was complaining of chest pain and he was sweaty. Uh, sir, are you allergic to any medication? Penicillin. Penicillin, all right. All right, do you take any medication, sir? Aspirin and nitroglycerin. All right, do you have them? 
Yes. All right, so he's got aspirin and nitroglycerin. All right, um, the, do you have any past medical history? Yes, he has a cardiac problem, he has a stent. Okay, cardiac and a stent. All right, what was the last thing you ate? A sandwich around noon. And the events leading up to, you were mowing the lawn when this chest pain started, okay? Yes. Well, and that's what you were doing at onset. Did it come on fast or slow? Uh, fast. Okay. And is there anything you do that makes it better or worse? Um, when I'm resting, sitting down, it's better. Okay. Better sitting? Yes. Can you describe the pain to me? It's a sharp pain. Sharp pain? Does it move anywhere? Back, no. front, jaw, left, so on, just, just. On a scale of one to 10, 10 is the worst pain you've ever had, and one is the least amount of pain, where would you put it? 10. 10, all right, and how long has this been going on now? Half an hour. Half an hour, all right. All right, so I'm gonna check the, uh, the six <clears throat> rights on these, the right patient, the right medication, this is aspirin. Each tablet is 81 milligrams. I'm gonna give him uh, four tablets. That will make it 324 milligrams. That route is oral, have him start chewing it up. Uh, I'm gonna check the right expiration date and write documentation, make sure I write down that I'm giving him aspirin. I'm also gonna ask the patient, do you have any bleeding ulcers? to make sure that there's no contraindication. No? All right, I'm gonna take out the four tablets. Sir, just start chewing them up. All right, so that's aspirin. All right, next I'm gonna check the uh, nitroglycerin. I'm gonna check all six R's. The right patient, this nitroglycerin is his. It's nitroglycerin. The dose is 0 0.4 milligrams per spray. It is sublingual. If we give it to him, it's under the tongue. Next, we're going to check the expiration date and then the right documentation. Next, I'm going to ask, sir, have you taken any nitro today? No. No, so he hasn't taken any doses today. Next, I'm going to check if he's taken any sexually enhancing drugs. Have you taken any Viagra, Levitra, or Cialis in the last 24 to 72 hours? No. No. I'm going to check his blood pressure. His blood pressure is 80 over 50. I can't give him the nitro because uh, the contraindication is it has to have a blood pressure above 100 systolic. So I cannot give that medication to him. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reassess this patient after giving him the aspirin. What's his rate room quality of his breathing now? 14, uh, Four regular and full. 14, regular and full. Okay, I'm gonna go and check his lung sounds again. Check his upper lungs. Clear. 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 So still clear times four. Uh, any accessory muscles? No. No. And his O2 sat down that he's on oxygen? No, 99%. 99%. So I'm just going to leave him on the oxygen. All right. So I'm going to check his uh, regular quality of his pulse now. 130, regular, and great. Okay. So there's no change. I'm going to take his blood pressure again. <laughs> No change, 80 over 50. 80 over 50. All right, skin color, temperature, and moisture. Pale, cool, and sweaty. All right, and a capillary refill. Three seconds. Three seconds, okay. All right, so now I'm gonna do my detailed head to toe. I'm still looking for decapitulus on his head and his face. Do I see any? No. I'm looking at his eyes for pearl. I'm looking at his nose, mouth, and ears for any fluids. I'm gonna check his neck for JVD, his trachea, his midline. Check his chest for equal chest rise and fall. Uh, I'm also looking for decapitulus. I'm checking all four quadrants of his abdomen uh, and looking for decapitulus. Pelvis, push down and in, looking at the groin for any incontinence, urine, feces, or blood. Checking his uh, contralateral movements or decapitulus on both legs, checking both pulses. Checking uh, if he can move it, wiggle his toes for motor, and if he feels that, that's sensory. He laughs because he's ticklish. Checking all our contralateral movements of his arms, 
checking the pulse, radial pulses, sir, squeeze my hand, do you feel that? He says yes, and the last thing is I'm going to check the back for decapping TLS, and that's the last head to toe that I'm going to do. All right, I'm not going to give any more medication because you can only give aspirin once, and we can't give him the nitro, but I'm waiting on the paramedics, so I'm going to reassess everything. Uh, do I have any changes in his breathing rate, rhythm, and quality? No. No changes, okay. I'm going to check his lung sounds again. Four, to see clear. if it's cleared still. Clear. Okay, clear times four. Okay. So, any accessory muscles? Nope. And his oxygen saturation, I'm checking 99% on the non reviewer so I'm going to leave him on the oxygen. Uh, what's his rate and quality of his circulation? No change. No change, okay. His BP again? No change. No change, 80 over 50. All right, uh, pale? Pale, cool, and sweaty. Cool and sweaty. All right, capillary refill, still three seconds? Yes. Okay, and if the paramedics arrive now, I have the information to give them. I'm gonna tell them the history of the incident. The uh, patient uh, was mowing the lawn. He's a 65-year-old male, weighs 200 pounds. He was found with chest pain. Uh, he was extremely diaphoretic, pale, cool, and diaphoretic. His uh, baseline vital signs, he was breathing 18 times a minute, regular and full, clear lung sounds times four, no accessory muscles, his O2 set was 95%. I put him on a non breather uh, at uh, 10 liters per minute. His uh, heart rate was 130, regular and thready. BP was 80 over 50, pale, cool, sweaty. Skin, his capillary refill was three seconds. He was conscious of an oriented times three. Uh, <clears throat> he... Um, so I treated him with oxygen and aspirin. I gave him 324 milligrams of aspirin he chewed up. The last set of vital signs that I have is 14 regular and full breaths, uh, regular quality of his breathing, clear lung sounds, no accessory muscles, 99% the, with the oxygen. His uh, heart rate is still 130 regular and thready, 80 over 50, pale cool sweaty skin, three second uh, capillary refill. Now, he is allergic to penicillin. He's uh, taking aspirin and nitro. He didn't take any nitro today. He has a cardiac problem, and uh, they put a stent in his heart uh, last year. He had a sandwich for lunch around noon, and uh, he was mowing the lawn when he began having these chest pains. And that's patient assessment.